guys. So, other than Guns of Glory, I've at this point I'm, I'm I've made progress. I'm at Castle Twenty Three. The only thing that I'm running into now is I'm running out of ore, and of course my building roster is kind of running thin. I'm running out of options to basically do anything, right? So I need the Master Axe. The only way to really get that is to basically do your daily quests. Um, and you can see here, you'll get some stuff, obviously, from your daily quests and such. So there's not really any harm in not doing them, right? But one thing that, uh, you know, I, I was kind of ranting about it with guards in particular before, but again, the reason why the icons are important, and really just in general, like, a lot of these combinations, like Lama Pen, for example, with... You know, like, if I get Lama Pen, and then I mix Lama Pen with, say, like, another hero, like Araba, the point is, is that the guard damage is obviously going to be high, but also you have to pay attention to their skills. You know, and then you also have to take into consideration their constellation benefit as well. Like, what are they adding? Health and attack. So naturally, that's, that's going to be a huge boon to any type of distance troop. You know, so at a glance, if you've ever wondered, like, why is it that people are picking these heroes, that's why. I mean, now, as far as, like, defense heroes go, like, I, I'm pretty sure Rashafort and then uh, our buddy Opal, because, uh, again, there's not very many of them out there, right? But uh, Grimaud, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Grimaud and Rash, Rashford are probably the best garrison heroes, period, as far as I know. And I'm not saying that there aren't options out there, but, you know, it's like, out of all those options, I'm pretty sure those are probably your best ones, you know, without really having, uh, you know, one tr set of troops dedicated to any one thing, you know? It's like, it's kind of right in the dead center, you know? But I bring that up because guards, you know, that's kind of the role guards have played in the game. Now, like, gemstones, I didn't realize this as I was doing it, so I thought I'd go ahead and kind of explain it, right? But, like, you don't need 15 copies of this. Not like I expected. Like, you, you do if you want it in multiple sets, I guess, but, like, you really don't. You really just need three gemstones. You know, and then you go ahead and upgrade them to max, and then rinse, repeat. It's basically, you know, like, you're your armor set, you know, like, and I actually discovered I ended up having to create like, Sentinel Gems, Champion Stars, and there was kind of like a mixture depending on the set that I was working on or when I was doing it. And again, the main focus I did with this particular set of gear, even though it's just construction gear, more or less, is just infantry health and distance. And that's it. You know, of course, I'm working on basically building my sets, the easiest way to do that in this game is really just to go out and attack threats, gather, and rinse repeat. You know, like, that's literally the game loop. There's really not a whole lot to it than that. So, like, you can go up here, go gather, send your troops, rinse repeat. That's all you do. I mean, outside of that, I mean, obviously you can do your catacombs and go through here and basically plunder, do your plunders, and then... Obviously, you know, like, you can do this per per level that you complete, so you might as well go ahead and do it, right? But then you can just go back to your talent points, go ahead and dump them into whatever it is that you're working on at the time, and, you know, you just rinse repeat, right? Again, not a terribly complicated thing to figure out. Um, of course, there's kind of the same thing going on here, so, like, for example, if I go into this, you know, I can do these manually. Alternatively, all right, so I suppose if you don't want to do that, um, there is an option for those that have the adventure badge to basically just skip through it. Like the adventure badge gives you a lot of benefits in terms of what you can do just to skip through things that are tedious or time consuming. I mean, so I think for a lot of people that are just kind of looking for something that can kind of get them ahead. You know, you can obviously pick up the, the adventure badge, and that's that's going to give you the the little kick that you might be looking for. Now, as far as like, you know, of course, like the actual individual sets and stuff. So like in this case, I can make a green tier grenade, 
So if I just went out of my way to make it, I could. Of course, in my case, I've already got everything all busy and working, but it's an option, right? The main thing, though, is that once you've, you know, gone through and, you know, got your guards and such, and then, you know, you can also go into your airship here from time to time and do your airship upgrades. And then once you've done your airship upgrades, that'll give you, like, a set amount of stats. You might have noticed that you can get glory, too, and, and really all glory is, is it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you, you can acquire a lot of glory just by going into your alliance and getting the reward tab from there. So like in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and dump a stupid amount into just Cav. Because why not? So, like that, I've got 80% now. Now if you're wondering, how did I get all of that? Well, you basically just go to Alliance, go to Hall of Heroes, go to Alliance Celebration, and then boom bada bang. That's where I got like a vast majority of the glory I have. But that's not the only way. I mean, you've, you've got other options, I believe, as far as getting glory goes. But that's, I mean, that's where I was getting a lot of my glory. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, besides that, though, I mean, if you're not, like, training troops constantly, which, like, as you can tell in this case, that's coming up awfully soon, so I might as well go ahead and you know, get another set of training. The idea is, obviously, just to always train. You always want troops training, you always want you know, buildings, upgrading, and vice versa. You don't really want to have them slacking and doing nothing, right? Um, of course, I did figure out that, you know, with, like, the shooting gallery in particular, like, you can get some loot from that, but not a lot. Um, but, like, what you could do is, like, for example, if if you're having a really hard time, you can actually go and do expeditions every day and just go out and embark, and it'll just take whatever troops you got, and you can try it and test your luck and see how far you get. In my case, I can't really get any far since I've pretty much done all I could. That said, um, pretty much the mermaid, you can grab your extra loot from the mermaid every day. Um, of course, you never want to forget your cannons. You always want to make sure you grab the loot on the cannons and then make sure you upgrade them. I try to keep them even, though, on the upgrade path pretty easy to like forget which ones are at what level so trying to keep them even is kind of the kind of the boon to you if you want to kind of avoid any headaches there of course at this point I think we're probably ready to go ahead and do the next one so let's we'll go ahead and sort of test our luck here and see if we can win Top of the ship here. That goes pretty close. Okay. So like that, we got some gears and stuff. And we'll always, you know, turn around and use that to upgrade stuff. My biggest thing is I'm focusing on distance. And I, I think in general that's kind of the way like you ought to apply this, I think. In terms of like how you fight, it's like 60% infantry, 40% range, or and you know, depending on what you're sending in terms of troops is also going to vary depending on what heroes you send, you know, or guards. It's really kind of dependent, you know, like if you're doing like a mixed blast, you might be sending like maybe perhaps more, um, you know, maybe a firepower build, you know. And again, if you're not aware of what I'm referring to, again, this just goes back to the guards, you know. It's like basically a firepower build is something that, and you know, when you look at the skills, distance guard, and then you have all this jazz there, right? Firepower is in reference to this, um, you know, like, for example, let me, uh, I can give you, see if we can find an example. Like, see how that comes off like this? That's firepower. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the point is, is, like, certain tabs are going to give you certain benefits depending on the type of compositions and the type of troop marches that you're sending. So it's kind of relevant in that, you know, if you're going to be, say, a certain type of march with a certain type of composition, you want to have boons and benefits going there. I guess it should also point out that, like, you know, every time you get, like, extra heroes and stuff like that, of course, you can use guards to go ahead and unlock skills, but then when you're actually wanting to upgrade them, you can go to get more. And then this is where you can just take your extras 
that you're not going to use, which in my case, I am more than likely not going to use. Obviously, I could also just as easily go to discharge here. Just say, hey, grab all these, grab all those, hit confirm, and then it'll just go ahead and do it for you. It's a lot easier, in my opinion. Um, but then once you do that, you just turn around and you can upgrade the skills. And that's where you get a lot of your bonus points and stuff like that. Obviously, there's the level of the hero, um, or the guard for that matter, plus the star level, which is just really kind of dependent on what you have. Now, as far as the constellation goes, I believe in order to get the constellation, there's a little bit more to it than that. You have to light up all the talent stars to even get the constellation, so there's kind of a, you know, there's like a whole process involved in that, but again, guards are kind of like one of those things that you, know, you build up to and you kind of acquire over time, you know, but anyway, I mean, I thought I'd just kind of share what I've learned so far. Um, Hopefully this is kind of helpful for those of you that are just starting in Guns of Glory like me. And uh, needless to say, if you guys are trying to save money, though, make sure to check the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.